<laughs> oh! Okay. Please, come on. Uh, uh, welcome, I'm Primoz Valant and uh, this is a uh, wildlife, uh, uh, wildlife cast uh, podcast and blog show from me on my website uh, valant.biz and uh, here with me I have a very special legendary person, uh, Keith Man himself, uh, here, clap, 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 and, uh, and I would ask him what he's doing here in Slovenia, uh, tell us a few words about uh, your work and about uh, animal liberation fund, please. Yeah, I'm here in Slovenia meeting some lovely people and trying to spread the word, telling people the truth about what the Animal Liberation Fund does, um, sharing my experiences. I've been uh, showing the film behind the mask, which, uh, like I said, tells a true story about the Animal Liberation Fund and the people that break the law to rescue animals, and promoting my book, which again tells the story of the Animal Liberation Fund and my involvement with liberating animals from captivity, trying to make people aware of what we're doing to the animal kingdom. Yeah. And uh, in uh, what methods you use to to spread your word to make your actions? I understand not what matters. What matters? Like you, you, uh, you just uh, publicize in media, uh, make public uh, attend uh, to the problems, to hear about problems, publicize them using video, photos, and so on. What kind of uh, actions you take to uh, uh, to focus on this problem and uh, to try to solve it? Well, like I say, making people aware, exposing yeah. people yeah. to the reality of factory farming and yeah. river section. I show people undercover footage from inside laboratories and. Yeah. Farms. Yep. And slaughter houses, yeah. kind of material that people don't normally see. Yes. Um, and I find that when you expose people to that kind of information, they tend to want to change the way that they live their lives. Yeah. Um, and stop supporting that kind of industry. Yeah. Uh, some uh, are criticizing you because you also, uh, in, w- in some ways, use violence to solve these problems or to solve the animals, for instance. What is your reply to them? Well, I don't. I've never used any violence at all. Yeah. I, I make a big distinction between the use of economic sabotage and rescuing animals and the, the use of extreme violence against living beings. There isn't a comparison in my consideration. Yeah. It's not violent to damage an inanimate object, but it's violent to stick a knife in the throat of a living being. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's usually the people that are using that kind of violence that accuse us of using violence. But uh, the two aren't comparable mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what are the reaction of the public and uh, from authorities and those, uh, those who do this atrocity to animals? Well, they use more violence to try and stop us doing what we're doing. That's yeah. the, the inevitable response from people who we're campaigning against. Yeah. They always resort to violence to try and stop us exposing them for what they're doing. Yeah. And the same with the authorities. But well, the public the public are very responsive when they hear what's going on in these kind of places. And they want to do something to stop it. Yes, yeah, so you already are seeing some great successes absolutely, in your work. Yeah, yes, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. You, you also paid quite a price for it. You were imprisoned uh, for your work. Well, I consider that a small yeah. price to pay. Yeah. And I yeah. think we, ha- we all have to be prepared to make sacrifices if we're going to make a difference in this world. And, you know, it's no big hardship for me to spend a few years in prison to make the world a better place for others. Yeah. And uh, what is your message? What you would propose to the Slovenian public, to Slovenians, what they should do regarding the animals, their rights, and uh, what is happening with them? Wake up. You know, stop supporting these industries that are raping our planet and destroying all the life that lives on it. And the vegan diet is the, the, the way ahead for, for human beings on this planet. And uh, about uh, products which are in, the, uh, uh, in their uh, involvement or their production using the animals or trials on animals? Well, the obvious thing is the same with any kind of product that's being manufactured and caused people or animals hardship, don't buy them. This is what will stop these industries doing what they're doing. We take the profits away from them and buy products that aren't of cruelty. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's an easy yeah, thing to do yeah, now. Yeah, there are plenty of yeah. non violent cruelty-free products available that are good for the environment, good for animals and good for the rest of humanity. Yeah. Buy them. Okay, great. Uh, we are here momentarily on Pohorje while we are showing to you some ecologic, ecological environmental problems in Pohorje. What are your thoughts about this? Uh, what's your opinion about what you've seen so far? Well, it's the same as, as all the abuses that I'm seeing of this planet. It's awful and it needs to be stopped by any means necessary in my view. People need to see what damage is being done up here and do something about it before it's too late. Yes, yes, absolutely.
Will you sign the petition? Yes, I have my petition going on. And I'm not sure that's going to solve the problem, but, <laughs> but it's a start. It's a point. start. We will continue to work. And I will ask you politely if you can help us in uh, UK spread the word about our work, what we are doing. Uh, we need all the support, or media support, and all individual support from anyone who, can, who is ready to help us in any, any, any possible way. I'm with you. Thank all you. Those people are Thank with you. you. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, Keith Man and uh, Pimo Jalan for Wildlife Cast. Uh, for volunteers and thank you, Keith. My pleasure. Yeah. Good luck with your work. Thanks. Thanks. Tom, gotta get on a plane.